Everyone knows that how fast you move down a slide depends on your clothes. On a rainy day, rain trousers can give you a very fast ride down a wet slide, whereas other clothes may get stuck when they are wet. What other factors can play a role? As the first investigation of friction, two groups of 11 year olds were asked to bring three different types of clothes and compare them on a slide while a fellow student measured the time and filmed the motion. They also performed experiments where blocks on an inclined shelf plane were used to model persons in a slide. The four blocks were covered in different materials which would come down first. Then you can try to see what happens when you put one block on the slide and slowly lift the end of the plane until the block starts sliding. Using the ruler we can measure how high we need to lift the end to make the block slide. What happened here? It seems like the block got stuck at the end. Let's try again, but now put the block a bit away from the end. Yeah, that's quite a different result. Maybe it's better to compare two blocks at the same time. And there we have a winner! Could we compare all four at the same time? We have to put them on the side to make room for all of them. And then we also must take away the little straw from the plane. Here we go. And we have a winner, it's the green one. There is a little extra piece of the green polyester. We could put that on one of the others, but we need something to make it stay. Ebba's hair tie will do the job. See how they slide together down the plane? What happens if we lift the plane a bit slower? They came down simultaneously. What happens if we add one block on top so one of them will be twice as heavy? What do you think will happen? Let's try. They came down simultaneously. Is it really twice as heavy? It probably is. Let's try again. What happens if we take one against three? What would happen if we have a brick with a stone? It will be much heavier. Will they still come down together? Let's take a closer look. They do come down simultaneously. Isn't that surprising? We started our discussions by looking at our videos and tables on the iPads. So what did we learn? It's complicated. The combination of the material's surfaces play a role. Mass does not matter on most surfaces, but when we go on a toboggan down a hill, it does. Why? Now we know. The inclination of the plane plays a role, but the contact area doesn't matter. If something that can roll, like grains of sand, is between the surfaces, things change. You see, it is complicated. Read the paper for more examples and discussions.